Hi guys and welcome back to That Guy Sews. My name's Josh Barnett and in today's tutorial I've decided to take a pair of old suit trousers that don't fit me in the slightest and slim them down into a nice slim pair of suit trousers that I'm going to be wearing to things like the races. This is a tutorial I actually do a lot. A lot of my friends are always asking me if I can hem their trousers or make them slim for nice big events. So I thought, what better way to show other people how to do the same thing that I do, and it's really quick and really effective. As I've mentioned before, I do try and upload a video once a week, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need some baggy trousers or suit trousers that don't quite fit you and I got mine from a charity shop in Cardiff and they were just one pound and as you can see they don't fit me at all. You're going to need a cutting board, you're going to need some pins with the pin cushion and some chalk and a measuring tape. You will also need a seam ripper. Start off by seam ripping the hem of the trousers so that it's then just one continuous leg. Turn the trousers inside out and then put them on inside out. As you can see here, this is what I've shown. What you then need to do is proceed by just pinning from the top part of your leg where you believe it's tight enough, right down to the bottom, ensuring that there's enough movement in the trouser for you to still wear them. What you need to do is take out the same amount from the inside leg as the outside leg. So just working your way from the top of the leg down to the bottom of the leg, taking the same amount from each side. Just keep doing this and then taper it out off to the bottom of the trouser. Then what you need to do is fold the trouser leg up from the bottom to the desired length that you want and just put a pin in right at the bottom where the fold line is. Then just take out the pins and even out the line right down the trouser leg with chalk. Make a mark then at the bottom of the trouser leg where you put the pin and go down two inches from there and that is where you're going to trim off the excess fabric. So just get out your rotary cutter and a ruler and just trim the fabric off. Then just repeat this for the other trouser leg. What I've then done is taken it over to the sewing machine, starting at the top of the chalk line and beginning with a back stitch. Then just following that chalk line right the way down the trouser leg to the bottom where you're gonna end again with a back stitch. In order to just keep him with following that chalk line, I'm now going to do the other side of the leg, starting at the bottom of the trouser where the chalk line is visible, starting with a back stitch and going right up to the top of the trouser where the end of the chalk line is. At this point, I would put the trousers on and make sure they actually fit you in all the right places and make sure you don't have to make any adjustments before you continue. What I have then done is lay the trouser leg that I've slimmed on top of the trouser leg that hasn't been slimmed, lining up all of the seams from the bottom to the top of the trouser. Once the seams are then matched up, you just lift up the top trouser leg that's already been slimmed and make a mark directly underneath where you're going to need to make a line for the other trouser leg. Do that right the way up both sides of the trouser leg and then just make that a nice continuous line from the top to bottom, nice and even. You're now going to do the exact same process as you did for the first leg for the second, starting and ending with a back stitch at each end of the trouser leg itself. Now I've taken the trousers over to my ironing board where I'm going to press the seams open. Before I press the seams open I need to take my unpicker and just unpick right down that seam up until where my stitch starts. Once you've unpicked up the inside or the outside seam just take out your iron and press that seam right the way open all the way up the trouser leg. Repeat this process for the other three seams that you haven't done. Now because we've changed the length of these trousers, I've actually now taken these over to the overlocker where I've overlocked the bottom edge of the fabric to stop it from fraying. I've taken it back over to the ironing board where I'm now going to iron the hem into place. And I said before you needed to add 2 inches from the bottom of where you wanted the trousers to end so that you could actually add in the hem. So now we're going to move up 2 inches from that bottom line, fold the trousers up and then iron it into place. Do the same thing for the other trouser legs so that they're both even. You need to now select the blind hem stitch. There are two ways to hem suit trousers. By creating a blind hem, you need to either use a hand stitch or select the blind hem stitch on your sewing machine. I've decided to select the blind hem stitch on my sewing machine just because it's quicker and I find it easier to do. 
With your suit trousers still inside out, you need to now fold the hem in on itself so that you just see that raw edge poking out the top, the edge that you probably have either overlocked or zigzag stitched. Then place this under the needle as this is the part where you're going to start your blind hem stitch. You want to line it up so the trouser on the fold is sitting just off of the overlocked edge so that when your first needle goes down it's just catching the edge of the folded trouser. Then when it moves back across you'll do four stitches straight down on the overlocked piece of fabric before it goes back over and just catches that folded edge again. Do this right way around the trouser leg and do the exact same thing for the opposite leg. Now you want to take your time with this because you don't want to catch too much of the fabric or it will be visible from the outside so just take your time with this and don't rush. Once you've done that all that's left to do then is fold the trouser legs in the right way and press down the folds and once that's done you just throw on your slimmed down taken up suit trousers. Thanks for watching and please subscribe down below as I will be uploading videos around about once every week.